Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a simple technique that you can use to cut a perfectly circular hole into a mesh. Particularly we'll be using a turbo smooth mesh in order to show how you can isolate this change in your geometry from the rest of the mesh flow. So I have a simple editable poly object here and it's got a turbo smooth modifier on it. I'm going to go ahead and use isoLine display. And we're going to cut a circular hole right here into this polygon. And it's going to be perfectly within the face. So it's a very simple execution of this technique, but you can actually use it for much more complicated shapes like rectangles or stars um, or even text. So let's get started. From here, we need to set up some more edges. And you see, I'm, I'm no longer in turbo smooth mode. We need to set up some edges to prevent this technique from really altering the flow of this slope. So I'm going to select this ring of polygons right here, or these ring of edges. And I'm going to connect them with two segments. And I'm going to pinch it pretty far upward. I'm going to make it roughly equidistant right here. Click OK. All right, so we now have the a perfect face that we're going to work with. In the center of this polygon, we're going to put in that circular hole. So I'm going to jump into my top-down viewport. So right-click perspective, views, top, or hotkey T. And I'm going to go to the create panel, go to shapes, splines, circle. I'm just going to drop a circle right there in the middle of this polygon. Right there. Now, I can already tell we're going to get a little bit of pinching, right? Because we're so close to these edges. So what we're going to have to do is uh, take care of that. Well, we, we might be able to get away with it. We'll, we'll clean up the mesh flow afterwards. Down in the editable poly object mode, I'm going to click on the vertex sub-object mode. And I'm going to engage my snaps, which is this sort of magnet shape up here. And if you right click on that shape, on that button, you're going to get your snap options, the snap settings. And notice that I have vertex selected. And what that's going to let me do is snap to the vertices of the object, no matter what I'm doing. And we're going to use the cut tool to cut that perfect circle right out of that polygon. So I'm going to close my grid and snap settings. And I'm going to scroll down in my command panel, grab the cut tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut left clicks all the way around my circle. All done there. And I'm going to finish it off. Notice I still have the tool up here in the corner. And I want to do that for every corner. And these are all just left click, left click, right click, left click, left click right click. Okay, so I can probably get away with this geometry. Let's roll with it, see what happens. Um, you'll notice that when we're back in the perspective viewport, it becomes an ellipse. And that's because we, we cut this originally from the top viewport. See, it, it lines up pretty well when we're looking top down. So we'll need to, uh, to complete the effect, we might just extrude it downwards. So I'm going to select the that internal internal polygon. I've turned off my snaps, hotkey S by default. Select that internal polygon. I'm just going to inset it a little bit. Make that transition nice and smooth. Click OK. I'm going to delete the polygon. So I've, I've deleted it. Now I can see right through it. And in the border sub-object mode, I'm just going to click on that and drag it down a little bit. Roughly the same amount, right? So we're going to get that nice tight transition. And then after that, I'm just going to drag it down as far as I want, because it's not going to matter. All right, let's see what that looks like after it's been smoothed. Wow, that looks just super. That's just super. It's nice and smooth. We're not getting any bulge. The geometry is isolated, and we could isolate it even more if we wanted to, but I, I think we're OK. And, uh, and it's perfectly circular. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. 
You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com. 